Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how to install Python on Windows operating system. Now, before we go ahead into the advanced detail or start learning Selenium with Python, we first need to set up our development environment so that we can start writing our first script or first test case using Selenium and Python. So installing Python is the first step. So we have to first go ahead and download Python and install on Windows machine. Now, before you go ahead and download the Python installer, just check which version of Windows you have, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. So to check that, uh, if you are using Windows 10, simply go to the search here and type in PC and right click on the PC and click on properties. Now it will open the properties page here, right? So you can also go through the control panel or control panel items and system. And in the system, you will see the system type is 64 bit operating system, right? So if this is 64 bit operating system, I'll go ahead and download 64 bit Python installer. If you are having 32 bit operating system, go ahead and download 32 bit Python installer. If you're using older version of Windows, you will get my computer instead of this PC, right? So uh, instead of this PC, you will get my computer. So just right click my computer properties or go to control panel and go to the system from there. So you will be easily be able to navigate. It doesn't matter which version of Windows you are having, right? So I have 64-bit operating system. I'll go ahead and download 64-bit Python installer. So go to Google and simply type in download Python, right? And we'll be working with Python 3, this whole tutorial series. So Python 2 was the older version. Python 3 is the latest version. And in Python 3, there will be latest version upcoming as well. So simply go to the download Python page. And on this page, you can see the current release or current version that is available is download Python 3.9.1. Okay. Now, if you want to download 64 bit, you can click on this one. You can see in the left hand bottom corner, it shows AMD 64 bit.exe. But if you want to download the 32 bit, go to this Python for Windows. If you want to download for Linux, Mac OS, go to these links respectively. I'll go to Windows link and I'll choose latest Python 3 release, which is Python 3.9.1. By the time you are downloading, there might be a new version of the Python that's available, the latest one. So you can download the latest one. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, as far as Python 3 uh, and above, uh, that, that should be fine. All right. So scroll down and here you have the installer for 32-bit and 64-bit my machine is 64 bit i'll click on 64 bit it will download in few seconds and then we'll start installing python so download is successful i'll go to show in folder so in the folder i have this exe file available now simply double click on it installing is very easy and here you have the option so to install this is the quick install or custom install prior to selecting custom install. So we'll be following the custom install because we want to customize few things. So before that, make sure you check this add Python 3.9 to path. I'll explain what is the relevance of path and why we are adding Python 3.9 to path uh, in the next tutorial. But as of now, make sure you check this box add Python to the path. And then we'll click on customize installation leave these optional features as is on this particular screen and click on next now on this next window make sure you check install for all users which will ensure that the python that will be installed on this machine will be available for any user that logs on this particular machine right and in the customized installation location you can see that the default location that has been picked up is c program files slash python 3.9 if you're happy with this location just click on install if you're not then you can create your own folder or locations if for example you don't want to install in c you want to install in d drive so in d drive you can create a folder uh, python 3.9 or whatever name you looking for and browse to that particular folder 
I am happy with this installed location. I will click on install. It will ask that this app wants to make changes. I will click on yes. And now it will initialize, start the setup process and it will install all the components that are required for the Python installation. And once the installation is finished, then you will get a success message. It will take some time. So please have patience. So now you can see setup has been successful and now you can close this particular window and Python installation has been successful on your Windows machine. Let's go ahead and check the installation. So go to the C drive program files where it installed the Python. So go to Python 3.9 and you will see all the Python files available in that particular location, right? If you want to verify the Python installation, I will go to the command prompt and just type in Python V and you will see Python 3.9.1 has been installed successfully, right? So it shows the version of the Python that is available on your machine. If Python is not installed on your machine, you won't get this version being displayed right the, the command itself won't be recognized on your machine okay so this is all about installing python on windows operating system it is pretty simple pretty easy so go ahead and do the installation and then i'll see you in the next class and we'll progress further on the setup of our development environment for selenium with python training so that's all for this tutorial Thank you very much for watching.